Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to learn how to calculate the probability of an event. By now you should know that the probability of an event is equal to the n of the event over the n of the total outcome. Right? So we know that how many is the event over the total amount. Let's take the following example. If I'm using the word happy, right, what is the probability that the letter I am choosing, so I am choosing letters from here, right, so your sample space is basically H, A, P, P, Y, that's what we have. But we don't draw a sample space for this because when we're looking at the questions, we can immediately look at what they are saying. Now, what is the probability that I will choose a letter H? Now, you need to count how many H's are there. So, the probability of H is how many H's are there? There is one H over how many choices do I have? One, two, three, four, five. I have five choices. So the probability is 1 over 5. What is the probability of getting a P? So again, we count. How many P's are there? 2. So we have 2 over how many total? 5. So the probability of P is 2 over 5. Now look at the not. What is the probability of not choosing. Now this is an interesting one, right? When we say what is the probability of not choosing, then you could say, let's say I'm saying not choosing an A. So not choosing an A means choosing every other alphabet. So not choosing an A would be 4 over 5. Another way of doing not, right? So we're doing the not. Is that you could have said 1 minus the probability of A. Now what is the probability of A? The probability of A is 1 over 5. There's only one A and there's 5 options. And we're going to say 1 minus 1 over 5, which is 4 over 5. Now these are when they are giving us easy probabilities to calculate. Now, let us take the following example. It says, a bag has four black pens, five red pens, two green pens, and six blue pens. What is the probability of pulling out a black pen? Now, we know what is the N of the black pens. It is four over what is the N of the total amount. So, we have 4 plus 5, which is 9, plus 2, which is 11, plus 6, which is 17. So, we have 4 over 17. Then, what is the probability of the blue pin? Now, we have n of the blue over n of the total. Now, the blue pins is 6. And our total is 17. So the probability is 6 over 17. Then, what is the probability of the red? So we have n of the r over n of the total space. So what is, how many r's do we have? How many red pens do we have? We have 5. The total space, sample space, is 17. That means, how many pens do I have totally in the entire bag? Then we have the probability of the green. Now the green, we have two pins and the total sample space is 17. Look at the next one. The probability of not black. That was the, that is what that little cuppy stands for. It stands for not. Okay. Now what is it? What does that mean? It means everything else besides black. Now you could say 5 plus 2 plus 6, which gives us 11. And you can say, okay, n of the rest 
So that was the number of the red and the green and the blue over n of the total, which will give us 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 6 is 13 over 17. But another way of doing it is to say 1 minus the probability of B. So it is 1 minus. Now what is the probability of B? Remember probability is the entire formula. You already have the probability of B. It's 4 over 17. You've calculated it in the beginning. So we have 1 minus 4 over 17 which is equal to 13 over 17 giving you the same answer. Thank you for watching.